All right, we are back with the look at the mono blue time warp deck. This hand has one land in it and two seven drops. It also has a serum vision, so I'm going to keep it and risk the whole drawing the second, third, fourth, fifth land. Put this on top and this on top. I'll draw the snow covered island next turn. Then the turn after I'll draw temporal mastery off the top. I'll be able to miracle that. Alright, looks like we're playing against hexproof. Really depending on what he does, we may remand, we may re not. We we may not remand. Keen sense, that's fine. It's going to allow me to telling time and still leave the mastery on top. And hopefully dig for another land. Telling time. Card that goes in my hand. Calling mine. Card on top of the library. Card on the bottom. I will reveal it. Play our land for the turn. And pass turn. Oh, it's back to me. Make our howling mine. And pass turn. Spirit Dancer. I know it's pretty dangerous to put a bunch of cards into the Boggle deck's hand, but I need a bunch of cards to operate. So I'll take some damage. I've got Remand. I'll eventually catch up, I believe. Uh, we're going to take three, though. He's going to draw an extra card. There's another Howling Line. And a Telling Time. We need to find a land. That will go there, that will go on top, that will go on the bottom. And we're going to Howling Mine again. So we've got our draw engine started. It's just taking, it's, it's, it's our turn engine that's going to be the, the hindrance, I do believe. is will we be alive long enough to actually start casting time walks and when we start casting time walks are we going to be able to make our land drops to do other stuff besides that you know
We're at 16 now. It feels like a safe life total. <coughs> and him drawing cards off Spirit Dancer helps me a little bit. Not as much as I'd like it to. But at least none of them were Daybreak Coronets. Alright, we're taking nine this turn. So we're at seven. He's drawn another card. Aetherize is going to be amazing out of the board. There's the elixir. Give me another land. Alright, we've got the fifth land. Time warp me. Elixir. Time warp me. Another land. Serum Visions. Uh, I want to put at least one of those lands on top. Time Warp Me. I need to find a Jace and a Time Warp. Spell Snare is doing me no good. Like a howling mine. One, two, three, four, five, six. Eight will put me down to five. I'm not going to buy back the walk this time around. There's a bunch of lands. We'll play the Tech Edge. We're discarding the Spell Snares. So I don't think they're going to be very good against him. drawn into a land glut. That's not what we need. We need a concession will work. I believe he conceded too soon. Okay, we need Aetherize. We need Swan Songs. We don't need remands. We don't need spell snares. Let's go with the laboratory maniac. And I, I guess a spell snare is better than nothing.
I'm just happy to be playing against an established archetype after playing against two blue-black decks that I didn't know existed in modern in any form. But again, that is the problem with me playing in the tournament practice room. I lack the confidence to play this deck in the two-man queues. So, uh, it is possible that the games that I want to play will be few and far between, you know? So, I may get the five matches that I want to play. I got no turn one drop. No need to miracle that since I can't cast it. Which makes me very sad. That doesn't do... Oh, no, no, it stops, uh... It stops Elixir. That needs to be swan songed. I don't want my elixir to be stopped. Believe you me, that would be a bad thing. I would make it to where Jace would be my only win condition. And that is not in a place where I want to be at. That bird is going to get fat. Fat swan. How are you even going to be able to fly? I don't think these words have ever been said, but I really need to draw either eyes. I'm going to run Jace out there just to see if I can keep the bird off my back. We got another swan song. There's a Dryad Arbor. I'm actually now fingers crossed that he doesn't attack Jace. Really fingers crossed that he doesn't attack Jace. Especially since Keen Sense only triggers off of an opponent's. Alright, the Jace Gambit, you have paid off. I can't afford to cast any of these things, so I will be discarding Temporal Mastery. And I can't afford to cast Cryptic Command until combat. Because I don't want him to load up his Dryad Arbor with a ton of stuff.
All right, let's hope that there's no instant hex proof. All right, we got lucky. The bird is no longer the word for our opponent. Still coming hard at me. Finding the fifth land would be pretty clutch here. Got the spell snare and the time warp, so this Jace has got to pay off. Jace did not, so we're going to go ahead and... Crypto Command the Arbor and draw a card to get me another Jace. And we're going to have to discard some stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and discard... Swan Song... Spell Snare and a Serum Visions. Any silence that is going to resolve. If we can get the land, we're good. We got the land. Five time warp me. Let's go ahead and mill him for twenty. Whoops! I made him draw a card instead because I was a nine loyalty. That was embarrassing. Oh well. We've got another turn. Each player will draw a card. There's another cryptic command. I'll time warp me. I should play Serum Visions. Just see what I've got coming up. Uh, we'll put the Aether Eyes on the top and the we'll Walk the Aeons on the top. discard a cryptic command one two three four five six seven all mastering We're 
gonna go ahead and discard Chase. Maybe this time I can actually do it right. Walk the Aeons, no flashback. And we'll cast Telling Time. We'll put this in hand, this on top, this on the bottom. And since we got the free turn off the mastery, we are going to play our Maniac. I tapped one too many mana for it, that's okay. Pass the turn. Both draw. Serum Visions, keep both on top, Cat Mastery, we'll discard a land, And that earns a concession. I was eventually going to win by milling myself out with the Laboratory Maniac in play. Uh, since he could not actually deal with that, he wasn't going to unta he wasn't going to untap again for a very, very, very long time. Uh, so that was match two against Hexproof uh, with the Mono Blue Time Walk deck. We're going to try to get some more good matches for you. If not, there's going to be some more matches and bonus coverage. So uh, check it out round three here on PureMTGO.com and thanks for checking out the first edition of Modern Warfare here. Again, I am Joshua Clater. Thanks for watching.